Good Saturday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this June 24th of 2017. After thunderstorms to start our weekend out on our Friday, we were much calmer and quieter today. Another warm day, but it felt nice with any outdoor plans that you had in mind for today. With that in mind, how do we look going through the next several days? Let me show you what I'm keeping an eye on as we go into the week ahead of us. I do have us warm to start the week, but temperatures running below normal. Normally this late in June, we should be starting in the upper 60s and topping out in the upper 80s, but I have highs to start the week out, bouncing between the upper 70s and let's say the lower to middle 80s. So those temperatures are kind of hard to come by this late in the month of June. I do have the summer heat working back in by the end of next week, though, especially highs in the upper 80s back to near 90 degrees. Not to mention humidity that will result in thunderstorm chances that will be coming and going throughout the week ahead. We'll highlight which days we'll see the best chance for any scattered thunderstorms in just a bit. View from 7th Range Line to start this evening out, though, had us nice and quiet from the east side of Joplin. You can barely make out at least some uh, high clouds filtering in from the west. Those will continue to work in overnight, although we should stay dry going into your Sunday at the very least. Uh, 59 this morning in Joplin at the regional airport, topping out at 82 this afternoon. Again, cooler than our averages of 88 and 68, and not touching the records that were set back five to six decades ago. The Skywatch Storm Tracker had us quiet for today. Again, though, we're keeping an eye on the cloud cover that's beginning to filter in from the west and the northwest. These showers out in northern Kansas, I don't think they make it here, so we'll keep things quiet for the night. High pressure is what kept us nice and quiet all day long, but as that starts to shift to the east, that is what's going to allow some warmer air and, not to mention, uh, let's say a little bit of moisture to work sneak in here as well. Uh, with this cold front staying just at our north but close enough to work with our first short wave of quite a few I'm watching in the northwest flow of the jet stream, we could see a pop-up storm tomorrow and maybe some scattered thunderstorms going through Monday, especially Monday afternoon. Off to the way out west, though, we do have a system spinning in the Gulf of Alaska. That's a system I want to keep an eye on because that could give us better rain chances by the end of the week. So in terms of days, and I'm expecting better rain chances in the extended forecast, I have us oh, at a 10% in coverage on Sunday. That's no more than maybe a spot storm or two. I really think most spots stay dry for your Sunday afternoon. Uh, slide up taking the rain coverage, 30% for your Monday. Tuesday looks dry. Wednesday, can't rule out a spot storm, but you see those chances tick back up to 20% on Thursday. And then I think more scattered thunderstorms for Friday and Saturday. It's not only we get the first weekend of July underway, but also close to the 4th of July holiday. Hopefully we can dry things out before we hit July 4th. We'll just continue to keep an eye on that as we roll into the days to come. For this evening, though, we start mostly clear, but the clouds filter in overnight. Should stay dry, though, and that cloud cover will really limit how much we drop off in terms of temperatures tonight. I have a starting near 61 in the morning. A few spots could be in the upper 50s overall, though. Not a bad way to start your Sunday out. Going into late Sunday morning, early Sunday afternoon, maybe a little more in the way of sunshine, but I want to hold on to partly sunny skies for the bulk of the afternoon. And the future track has the same idea that I've been thinking of for quite a while, maybe a spot storm or two Sunday afternoon. Most spots should stay dry. It'll be warm again despite a light northwest breeze. I think highs top out around 81. Fast forward to Sunday night, early Monday morning. We'll hold on to a few thunderstorm chances to start the Monday morning drive with lows near 62. And then I think we'll have a, at least a decent chance for some scattered thunderstorms going into Monday afternoon. And that will also limit how warm we get as we roll in the extended day forecast. Monday, those thunderstorm chances only mean a high of 78 degrees. Tuesday, plenty of sunshine. Looks dry and warm with highs near 85. 87 on Wednesday with a spot storm under otherwise partly sunny skies. Spotty storms on Thursday with highs back near 90 degrees. And middle to upper 80s as we head into next weekend with our best shot of thunderstorms, scattered storms, working to come in on Friday and Saturday. Have a good night and have a great Sunday.